Here's a question for you. Could an affair actually be the secret to a better, happier marriage? Yeah, study quizzed 1,400 self-confessed love rats who are secretly cheating on their partners. Somewhat unsurprisingly, 72% uh, of them said that they feel their relationship has been better since starting an affair. So could they be onto something? Well, joining us now is broadcaster and psychotherapist Lucy Beresford, who believes a fling can be a good thing for a relationship, while author and podcaster Sarah Davidson believes cheating causes irreparable harm. Good morning to both of you. Lucy, got to start with you, because the vast majority of the messages we've had from our viewers is absolutely not. Nothing good comes from an affair. You feel like there could be some good in it. I think there is huge potential. I think what's really interesting is the research carried out, for example, by Ashley Madison, who's the leading married dating website people. Mm. They showed that over a third of women feel that their primary partner can't, for example, meet all of their needs. And what you see in a relationship is so much resentment. People get into grooves, they get into a bit of a rut, and it leaves your relationship vulnerable to something happening. But once you do discover that maybe something has happened, if there's been infidelity or a betrayal, that actually that's the moment, that's the perfect opportunity to transform your relationship. A couple creates a couple. And you have to acknowledge what has led us to be vulnerable mm. to this position. And, and at that point, can we turn it around? People are always saying to me, should I stay or should I go? In fact, I gave a TED talk on that very topic, that idea of, is that the end? Or can we actually rebuild something better where our needs get met, where I feel seen, where I feel validated, and where I can actually grow as a healthy person? What's wrong with that? Well, I think we've got to be honest that betrayal is not sexy, lies are not attractive, and deceit is just not acceptable. So it's hardly a recipe for a healthy relationship. And obviously the people surveyed are the people that are actually actively yes. doing mm. this. So, um, I find it mind-boggling that they can say that it's dramatically improved their relationships when what they're actually doing in reality is cheating on their partner without their knowledge. So, yes, their sex life may have improved, but the quality and the prospects for their relationship, certainly not. OK, but what about the fact that if, because they're having this affair, when they go back to their partner, they are more grateful for the partner, they're treating them better, they become a happier couple? Does it necessarily matter if there's a betrayal if it's improving the way the marriage works in the instance? Well, how long is that going to sustain for, I think? Mm -hmm. I mean, having been on the receiving end of a mm -hmm. betrayal, which is why I got into helping people go coping with these kind of things and coaching thousands of people around the world, I know that that doesn't last for long, that bubble. Um, and living with the guilt can actually have a very negative impact mm. on the relationship. And when your partner eventually finds out, which in a lot of cases they do, the devastation that causes, not just to them, but also to children, to the family unit, mm. to friendship groups even. There's something called divorce contagion, which is if you mm. get a divorce, other mm. couples in your friendship community <clears throat> excuse me, will also uh, mm. more likely to get divorced. Mm. So, again, there's a ripple effect. Also, your ability to work is massively reduced. So it, it's a huge impact on the rest mm. of your life. Mm. Although the opposite of that is that many people who've, who have been surveyed say that actually it enables them to show up in their marriage, mm. either as a better partner or as a better parent, because there's less resentment. There are fewer things that you can feel really um, unhappy about do actually cause you to maybe feel miserable. And actually, I think the other idea is that when infidelity is discovered, for sure, there is this massive moment of crisis. Do we feel like we'll ever be able to survive? Mm. But what is, you know, a couple creates the couple. So even if your partner is 99% uh, responsible for the mess that you're now currently wading through, that still leaves 1% <clears throat> for you to own and to feel, how did I show up in this mm. relationship? Am I happy? Often what happens is that the person who's been the betrayer says, well, I was pretty miserable. And the other person thinking, well, do you think I really enjoyed the way that this marriage has been going for the last sort of five or 10 years? That actually it isn't just, affairs are not just about sex. It is more about getting your emotional mm. needs met. Mm. And if you can actually get that met in in your primary relationship without feeling like you're being victimized, without feeling like you're being um, gaslit, that actually once it's out in the open, yeah. does that give you the perfect opportunity to rebuild something stronger? Yeah. That's or may my theory. Maybe try and get to that point before you've had the affair. Get to the point where you feel like... But how many... Yeah, that, that would be in an ideal world. Yes. In an ideal world. But if you are where you are, yeah. you've discovered that infidelity has rocked your world, 
Is there a future okay. together? And my argument is that yes, there is. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you both for joining us.